Good morning from Disney Springs. It's very bright out here. Yeah. But as with all things this time of year, Christmas is starting now in Disney Springs. Let's go see what they have to offer. Do some shopping too. Ooh, as we head down the escalator, you can hear Jingle Bell Rock playing and you can see Garland and a weird robotic deer. Are these reindeer that left uh, Planet Hollywood with its steampunk vibe and headed over here? Yeah, I like how he needs to work on leg day a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Personally, I'm pretty excited to see the Christmas tree trail, but Santa's kind of exciting too, I guess. We saw him in July. Oh, they have gift ideas here for the Disney fan on your list. You could get them Lady and the Tramp on vinyl. The wreaths outside the bathroom are nice, but this is probably the most un-Disney thing that I've ever seen is this extension cord going up and across and attaching to the other one. It's just little tape. Not even tape, it's those like quick release 3M things that you can get from Walmart. Heading into town center, check out their decorations. They got like Christmas chandeliers. I love that. Oh yeah, and all the wreaths and garland. That we don't oh need. yeah, it's warm here. Oh, see this reindeer is better. This one's not steampunk. It's like diamonds. Diamonds are a reindeer's best friend. That's what they say. Oh yeah. Yeah. This guy also needs to work on leg day though. I love the, how the trees are like, the lights are twinkling. Those are real trees. These are real Christmas trees. I think the thing about Disney Springs and the holidays is that it feels like, like home, you know? Like this is how somebody would decorate a small town, right? So, I think yeah. this is supposed to feel like a small town. And they'd be right? playing Boys to Men Old Lang Syne. I don't think this is Boys to Men. <laughs> but is it just me or is the Disney Springs tree just like a little bit leany? Is it? Like it's leaning a little bit, right? I don't think so. No? No. Maybe I'm leaning a little bit. <laughs> no. I definitely do like the Disney Springs Christmas tree though. It's very nice. Look, there's Jen taking a picture of it. Over here, the Archimedes screw is decorated with giant sparkly baubles. I like those. I would put those in our yard. I wonder if they, oh, they got plugs. They light up at night. Oh, they've got a whole garden of baubles. Also, check out this garland up here and more Christmas chandeliers. This needs to be a thing. It's kind of interesting. Christmas chandeliers all year. So Black Magic Bands came out on Black Friday. I think they're sold out, but I want to check and see if we can find one. Heading into World of Disney. Oh, it looks like Christmas in here. I love this one. Side note, it, it smells like vomit in here right now. Oh no, $55. That's pretty expensive. You know what's really funny is when we went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and did the pixel uh, shot, the long exposure, this was what was behind us. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. I think what we're finding is all of the sweaters are $55. Too much money. Yeah. Oh look, the shirt has the same design on it too. Oh, this one has a castle. It doesn't. This one doesn't have the castle. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. Huh. I do, but I wish it was on the sweater. I like the sweater. So All right. Christmas train, oh Christmas train, I bet you're two hundred dollars. Is it? Oh, 130. That's not as much as I thought it was going to be. This is cool though. I like this. This is the one like that goes around your Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, cute. All right. We found the magic bands. I'm not seeing any black ones just yet. They might be sold all out. Found them. Well, I didn't find them. Somebody in the store pointed us in the right direction to get them. Oh, but look at this one's cute too. Oh, yeah, it's like a Christmas 2017 one. What is that? Oh, it's Disney Springs. Yeah, this is the Disney Springs one that came out on Black Friday as well. Oh, you that's want a, interesting. You want a Disney Springs magic band? No, I have so many magic bands. I'm getting this black one though. Yeah, should no. only be $13. I think it's, it's definitely under $25. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> that's, that's true. After our quick purchase of a black magic band, we're heading into Giardelli to get our free, I think it's a peppermint bark square. Success. That's a spicy caramel. <laughs> Just outside of the Lego store, this used to be a family, like a family of tourists. And now it's these, uh, what are they called? Like the, the Heart Lake? I think there's a place in Legoland called Heart Lake. Yeah, these are like the little girls. They're like the, the teenage the girls. Show, right? Yeah. I just know all the kids really are into it. Yeah. Let's head into Amaret's Patisserie and see if they've got any special holiday treats. They got a tree! I like the little, they're like little cookies. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're not real cookies. Well, but look at this cute. thing. Yeah. There's like a whole house here. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at this gingerbread. Oh no, this chocolate train. I thought it was gingerbread. Look at the... Oh. Are those real? They're not no. real flowers, oh. but I think they're made out of edibles. Yum. Maybe this tree definitely is. Check out this Mickey ears that look like Santa. Oh yeah, here's the things that they made the tree out of. They're making little Christmas ornaments here. 
And look, you can see the tops right there. Oh, there's the there's the final product. It has a uh, frozen feel to it, like Frozen the movie, Anna and Elsa. It kind of looks like a candle. Oh, it is. It's supposed to look like a candle. Oh wait, is it a candle or a cake? It's a cake. Are you sure? Yeah, but oh. it looks like a candle. <laughs> Over at the Daily Poutine, they've got holiday poutine. Oh man, that looks good. This is a very specific genre of gifts. Well, that's what the other one was too. The other one was for the Disney Dreamer. Oh. And this one is for the Fashion Forward Mom. What about, oh, Dapper Dads. Like some C-3PO socks and a fedora. I like this. A beard brush. Yeah. Nice. Here's a new change. This used to be D-Living. Now it's called Af Ever After Jewelry Co. and Accessories. And here too. So you can get like a like a sparkly flounder purse. Oh, those? Those are pretty neat. But they do have the new Dooney and Burke dog bag in here, which is pretty cool. I do like it, but I do like the cat one better. Jen has the cat one on. Some of the stuff in here is weird. Very weird. I mean, yeah, this stuff is like, I wouldn't, I, I mean, more power to you if you like this, but like, I don't like this. I do think these are kind of fun. <laughs> I do like that one, but this Tinkerbell one, this not so much. Cheap, but this one is not cheap. Yeah. Would you get both of them together? Yeah, maybe. We're in Sephora, and I was just kind of wondering, yeah. like all of the different makeup here, how come you've never done your makeup like this? Uh, that's a mask. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was Which makeup. Which don't get. This one has glitter in it. Yeah, see, it's makeup. But it's not, it's face wash. It makes you feel pretty when you're doing a mask. Oh, let's head into Deluxe Burger. Holiday Why Turkey Burger. That? that sounds ridiculous. Uh, Are you gonna get it? I don't know. Should we split it? Yeah, sure. I don't know if I can eat a whole burger here. I, feel, I hear they're very big. Let's give it a try. Disney Spring Squirrel coming over to say hi. Hey, buddy. You, you all right? Oh no, I don't have any food, I'm sorry. He found some though. Look at this view. Wow, this is nice. There's the springs right there. And then look, everything's all decorated for Christmas. Here's our seasonal shake. It's like a peppermint shake and it actually came out first. So I'm probably gonna drink a shake for lunch. <laughs> Here's what we got. Donut breaded chicken nuggets and their holiday sandwich. This is a turkey burger. I don't remember what was on this, but it looks, is that just like a giant thing of fried cheese? Let me see. Holy macaroni. I'm excited for these because they're donut battered. It also bears mentioning that we are about half, well, maybe like a quarter of the way through this and it is delicious. Look at us, we're like a real live like food vlog. <laughs> we're showing the cross section of the holiday sandwich. Well, I feel like a lot of our recent videos have been all about food. Yeah. So why not, why not keep it going? The color of this turkey burger is a little bit off to me. It smells kind of like sausagey. Oh. Yeah. Well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. It looks good though. Now, since we're doing cross sections, here's a cross section of the chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of cheese. I like it a lot. Does it taste like the holidays? Like, yes and no. The cranberry is the only thing that really tastes holiday to me, but it's a nice, a nice little added flavor at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just like a little bit sweet and tangy, kind of. Brightness. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest with you guys. What? That was not the best meal that I've had at Deluxe. Whoa, everything's dark. That was not the best deal. That was not the best meal that I've had at Deluxe Burger. I've never eaten there before, so I don't have anything else to compare it to, but I will say, I did like the, the holiday burger. I didn't think I would like it, and I did oh, like it. I didn't like I, it. I wish that we had gone to Blaze. Yeah. I did. I really hated the cheese or the chicken nuggets. You hated them? Yeah, there there have been better chicken nuggets in my life. I didn't hate them, but I definitely they were too they, dry. They were dry. Yeah, they were dry. And they weren't as like this. You're eating a donut breaded chicken nugget. I thought they were gonna be sweeter, but yeah, they weren't. the shake was really good. I I love the shake. That actually that shake was better than any shake I've ever had at Tooth Slam at Universal. Oh yeah, better than than Guy Fieri shakes over at, at Planet Hollywood. Oh, I never had those. Yeah, you don't want them. You want this. That was good. They were delicious. Some welded penguins. These are fun. Like I like this better than the reindeer. It doesn't fit still, but it's neat. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, that's what I was going to look at. We've got a sign for our new things that are coming. Enzo's Hideaway, Tunnel Bar and Restaurant. So now is this gonna be like in the tunnel? Yeah, it's, it's like entrances right there. Pizza Point, 
Maria and Enzo's, and then Pizza Ponte. Pizza Ponte. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe that's like Italian for point. <laughs> but and then over here, Enzo's Hideaway. So Enzo's Hideaway is going to be underneath the bridge, and then the other two are just going to be here, right next to the Edison. So there's the Edison. Are we still thinking there's going to be the like secret? Well, that's what this is. Oh, that's all? That's yeah, that's all that it is. It's gonna be called Walt's Place. Well, that went the way of the dodo. Oh. I mean, good news now is we've got like a sign here that says the Edison, and we've got one there that says the Edison, so it can't be too much longer. So he said. <laughs> Let's see if we can see this chocolate Christmas tree inside the ganachery. I'm excited. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Hey there, pretty lady. Check it out, they have special cocoa chocolate. Is this a cocoa cocoa? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they had a picture of it on the sign over at the end, other entrance of Disney Springs, they don't have it yet. It'll be out tomorrow. Just tomorrow. our luck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember how I was saying that Wine Bar George seemed like it was going to open before the Edison? They pushed back the opening date of Wine Bar George. But it's very far along. It is. It says spring 2018 now. Don't you remember when you couldn't even see it over the fence? Like yeah. It was nothing? Yeah. Look at it now. Look at it now. Out in front of Boathouse, they've got some bobber snowmen like giant bobber snowmen these are awesome do you guys think they have any special hats for the holidays they do have like a fun steampunky type wreath out here wow what is it it's like a pom-pom hat oh is it kind of like mickey yeah, right i like it i want to try it on but it'll really mess my hair up this is a cat hat this one on, and they have a little a little baseball one too. Oh yeah. These are pretty fun. Those are fun. Look at this. Terralina is gonna open before Wine Bar George and possibly the Edison. None of their reindeers here at Disney Springs have been working out their legs. Maybe it's because they fly so much. Like, oh, what are these? <laughs> what are those? Dockside Margaritas has a special snowflake margarita. It's like a blue margarita. So we came to the co-op where they've been making bags out of different costumes from around the park. And right now they've got a Trader Sam's tote bag. This is kind of neat. It's pretty neat. I do like, I like the Trader Sam's one the best. It's also very giant. Yeah, I feel like it'd be a good uh, grocery bag or a beach bag, but it's probably too expensive it's for 50 that. bucks. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use it for those things actually. <laughs> Never mind. But I, we missed out on the Tower Hotel, the Haunted Mansion, and the Great Movie Ride. They also have a holiday print for the dress shop here. It's very nice. Look at the teacups outfit that they have with the Dormouse up here and the White Rabbit. Pretty nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I like it. There's some peanut reindeer here, right? These are reindeer? Or are they mooses? Peanuts? I think they're mooses. Why are they made of peanuts? Why not? Just passing by the location of what will be the Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. And look, Wolfgang Puck does the same smile that I do every time that he's taking a photo. It's like that open mouth smile. It's a little bit different. It's everybody's excited. You're doing it now, see? <laughs> we're gonna pause this video right here because we're gonna come back on another occasion because we're gonna get back to Bandit. Yeah. But uh, we still have to do the tree trail. And then, you know what? I figured if we're coming back like tomorrow or another day, I will get to see the chocolate Christmas tree. Oh yeah, because it's good. gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and maybe we'll get to try some other Christmassy treat. Good evening and welcome back to Disney Springs. We are here to see the rest of the holiday offerings that we didn't get to see yesterday. Nighttime in Disney Springs looks awesome. Look at all the sparkly lights. Yes, look at everything that is going on here. I love it. There's a Christmas tree, it's flashing, there's lights everywhere. It's beautiful. Oh, I was right, the balls do light up. Check it out, they all change color and everything. This looks awesome. All right, Ganachery, I hope that you have my chocolate Christmas tree. Heck yeah, chocolate Christmas tree. It's only $12, that is not bad at all. While we were in the Ganachery, we picked up Stitch's Holiday Gift Hunt, and what you do is you, you got these stickers, and you have to go through and read all the clues, and then figure out what Stitch has inside of each one of these locations. So, Stitch needs ganache, and that's uh, the ganachery, and you can kind of see he drew a little picture of it, and then there's what the ganachery, and then there's what the ganachery looks like. If you look inside, you can see Stitch there has his little potion bottle, and that's the sticker that we put in this location. I don't know how to open this. I don't think that I can do that without dropping a Christmas tree on the ground. <laughs> Where do you start with this? I'm gonna guess like... Th 
This is impossible to eat. This is not a food item. This is a beautiful, beautiful tree, but you can't eat it. Oh, pretty good. Check out the fountains, they're Christmas colors. All right, the stage is intriguing me. We're gonna go over there. Ah, the great Christmas anthem of Sweet Home Alabama. Brings me back to the Christmases of my youth. Big wings keep on turning. Carry me home to see my king. Sweet home Alabama. Where the skies are so blue. I heard you out there. We stopped off at the Disney store, World of Disney. Didn't realize that this happens. That's pretty fun. Some folks rollerblading around. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh yeah. In front of Earl of Sandwich, there is a Christmas tree and a DJ playing Christmassy song. Just, just plain old songs. But people are having fun. Now this is a Christmas song. Nice, I like it. We're heading into the Disney Springs Christmas Tree Trail. And I just noticed over here there's a wait of 120 minutes to meet Santa. So we're not meeting Santa tonight. We're just gonna go see some Christmas trees. Now we're getting into the Christmas spirit. That's a Christmas fence. This Christmas tree is themed to Disney Springs. World of Disney, Lucky, Wolfgang Puck, the Edison. Oh no, it's snowing. It's the Christmas miracle. First tree is themed to Mickey and Minnie. There are a lot of Christmas trees this year. And I feel like it is much better set up with lots of space. I'm happy that this year Pluto has his own tree. And I am also happy to know that Pluto loves Mickey Waffles. Oh look, there's his uh, collar up there. This is pretty nice. It's covered with all kinds of dog toys and stuff. Oh, more snow. There is a Princess and the Frog tree. I like this one a lot. I don't really like that they're advertising ornaments that are for sale on each of the trees. I understand why they're doing it, but I don't like it. Look, there's a frog. I would be very happy if they were selling this and we could buy that, but uh, I don't think it's for sale. Here's a little mermaid tree. This is neat. And there's their ornament that's for sale. I'm not see, oh, there it is. Oh, who's it? Where's the what's it? I do like that all of these trees have something all the way down to the ground so that even little kids can see something special when they come to see these trees. So the Beauty and the Beast one is kind of understated. A lot of roses and a lot of Mannheim steamroller playing real loud in the background. That's nice. I feel like this is the same as it was last year though. Here's the Sleeping Beauty tree. And I kind of feel like they're like mocking Sleeping Beauty by putting a spinning wheel on here. Because isn't that what made her fall asleep? I don't know what happened, but they turned the snow on like 10 times as much as it was two minutes ago. But here is the snow. I just got soap in my eye. Here's the snow white tree. I do like the star is made out of pickaxes from the seven dwarves. But here they're mocking her again with poison apples. Why would Snow White decorate her tree with poison apples? Here's the Cinderella tree. What are they gonna have? Like a bunch of cinders or like dishes for her to do on the tree? No, this one's very respectable. Oh, well, it's got a glass slipper up on top. I'll tell you who the snow didn't bother. Uh, Elsa, right? Because this is the Frozen tree. Did they ever go ice skating in Frozen? I feel like I'm being exceptionally picky of these trees. They're very nice. These are very nice Christmas. It's snowing again. Goodness gracious. They have a section here where you can buy beers. It looks like they've got like Captain Morgan on tap over there. They've got the Pluto uh, popcorn bucket. And they've got all kinds of other stuff you can buy here, like ears and the such. Check this out. They have gift cards that come with pins. Those are neat. The pins look kind of weird. Oh, it's a gingerbread pin. That's awesome. The Pinocchio one, and I really do like the hat that's on top. It's pretty neat. And then there's the ship that Monstro the Whale ate. And then down here, underneath everything, is a dolphin, not a whale. The Pinocchio ornament has a little pull string and you can make him do his little, I got no strings on me dance. The 101 Dalmatians tree. 
These are neat. I like that. Hello! Ah! Right? You're also very tall. Is that how they grow them in the North Pole? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the Fantasia tree. This globe thing is amazing. Do you guys see the stars moving around inside of it? If they sold that, I would totally buy one. They're really neat. Look at this rainbow of uh, Christmas lights going through the center. A dandelion? This is a, I do like how detailed they are. It's very neat. Why is there a dinosaur though? Here's the villain's tree and it's snowing again. Can you guys name every villain that you see? I think the antlers might be for Gaston. That's what I'm gonna go with. I do like the snow. I think it looks neat. It is a little bit annoying though. Just notice that the arrows telling you which way to go are Christmas trees. Ho, 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 go. Go where? I really like the Robin Hood one. This one's so cool. There's a loot. I like the plush ornaments better than all the rest though. This one's pretty cool. And look, there is King John's crown up here on the top. I've got snow all in my mouth. But it does look, oh, look at Dumbo. I like his, his hat and his ears. And look, if you look real close, he's holding the feather. This one's so cool. Here's the tangled tree. Look at, there's her hair. And look, a paint thing because of Pascal, right? And all the little lanterns, Peter Pan. Are the, are the lost boys anywhere in here? I see a lot of mermaids. The Lilo and Stitch tree. This tree is packed with things. And also, it has Stitch's hunt, Stitch's holiday hunt piece on it. So now you guys know. Little known fact, Santa is my dad. I am really enjoying this Christmas tree trail and all of the different theming that they have on these trees. Because it's, it, it's really neat what they picked out to represent each character and or movie. Heck yeah. The Muppets. And I can't think of a better person to serenade us as we look at the Muppets tree than Bruce Springsteen. Hey, there's Gonzo. Uh, this ornament has absolutely nothing to do with the Muppets. Well, we're nearing the end of the Christmas tree trail, so we should probably, let's get down to business and we'll look at Mulan's tree. This one is very elegant looking. Check out this Mary Poppins one. Like, let's go fly a kite. There's her umbrella. The penguins. And feed the birds. Tuppence a bag. The chim chimney. There's, this one's good. This one's real good. Oh, and look, there's a spoonful of sugar right there, too. Also, it bears mentioning that the spot with the least amount of snow is here by the Mary Poppins tree. Any further, and you're covered with snow. Alice in Wonderland. Do they have any, they have any roses that she painted red? Oh, yeah, look, there they are. There's the roses that she painted red. This Christmas tree is nice. I feel like Disney did a good job. Like they decorated the back of Santa's chalet, but then if we just look to the side here, we can see the 55 gallon drum of soap suds that they use to make soap. And the last tree is decorated with all kinds of ornaments that you can get in the Christmas store here at Disney Springs. Let's head into Goofy's Candy Company and see what kind of holiday treats they've got. These Rice Krispie treats look like presents and Christmas trees and stockings. Oh man. So we just had some of the Mickey's coffee and it is delicious. Look at these holiday candied apples. I really do like the frozen one. It would be even better if it was frozen, right? Like out of the freezer. Oh man, there is a lot of Christmas goodies here. Wow. But I think I'm gonna point out this Rice Krispie treat uh, turkey leg. <laughs> As we were passing by the Lego store, I noticed that they have new gigantic Legos out here of Yoda and Darth Vader. Darth Vader is really impressive. His legs seem a little bit long, but that's okay. Yoda's pretty impressive too, but Darth Vader's real impressive. Out in front of the Daily Poutine is a living statue. This is pretty neat. Speaking of the Daily Poutine, here is the Holiday Poutine, which is turkey gravy, french fries, and cheddar cheese curds topped with a cranberry relish. 
for $9.39. So on Disney Springs' website, Amaretz has a hot chocolate and marshmallow pastry. So I'm interested to see what that is. So here's what I got from Amaretz. This is their special ornament dome, which is chocolate chiffon cake, dark chocolate bourbon mousse, and marshmallow hot chocolate mousse. I turned on the light to give you guys a better view of the inside of this thing. I think the light may have been a bad idea because that looks real gross, but it is good. Let me turn off the light. It's a bit of a more realistic look as to what it looks like. It looks better this way. The Disney Springs nighttime traffic is starting to pick up, so that means that it's time for me to vamoose. So there you have it. Christmas has officially started at Disney Springs. It's a lot of fun. This is definitely a place to come if you're looking for like a day off, a day to do some shopping, a free day. You don't have to spend any money. You can just come, look around, see the trees, see all the decorations, and you can do uh, the stitch hunt, which was free, and then you get like a like a little coin at the end, like a little prize. It's very cool. So, with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.